Look, it, it's an iconic Australian appeal, the Red Shield appeal, and, and it's something that brings our community together. Um, it's something I've been thinking about a lot recently around shared value. The idea that we're all in this together, the private sector, the government sectors, the not-for-profit church and charitable and community sector. And, and that's why you're all here this morning. And, and that, to me, is sort of where our society and our community should be going. We are all in it together. And that shared value is how we're going to drive better results in our community. Today we're joined by Major Brendan Nottle, and Brendan is indicative of those who go to difficult places and work with incredibly difficult, volatile members of the community at times. Just six months ago, Claire was receiving help from the AMP bus, receiving help from the outreach van, receiving help from street teams and so forth. Now Claire is actually involved in providing help for people that are sleeping rough on the streets through the AMP bus, through the outreach van, through street teams and so forth. A remarkable story. Uh, there's no one single person that can take responsibility for what we see on the uh, platform here today. There's not one single program that can take responsibility for what we see today because the people that do wonderful work on the front line, we all receive amazing support from numerous individuals, small businesses, families, corporates. So this morning, from the very, very depths of our hearts, we want to say an absolutely genuine and sincere thank you to every single one of you for you doing your bit. And we just want to say that we think you're absolutely fantastic. God bless you each. Thank you. And whilst the journalists and good people like yourselves might say thank God for the Selvos, we say thank God for you, for the support you give, for the way in which you support us and the way in which you value the work that we do. Working together, I'm sure we will be able to raise the challenge of raising 81.5 million nationally this year. You have an opportunity to make a difference in the lives of people like Claire and Trevor. And I encourage you to step forward and go with us to the places where most people don't want to go and to help the people that have been forgotten. And we're here really uh, remarking on the work of Australians who are there on the front line in times of crisis. In times of crisis, you'll always find the salvos there. And they're not there expecting fanfare. They're not there expecting recognition. They're just there getting the job done. It truly is Christianity with its sleeves rolled up. And while not all Australians will be a member of the Salvation Army, each and every Australian can be part of the work of the Salvos through the Red Shield appeal, no matter what their faith or their background. So I encourage every firm and individual in this nation to give as much as they can. Every cent helps. Recently I heard someone say that you'll never make an investment that will give you a better return than that what you will with the Salvation Army. And I assure you that this is true. And I thank you for your attendance here this morning and your support. Honey, look at the camera. When Dave's wife died in childbirth, he lost his love. Crippled by depression, he lost his job, then his home, and almost lost his kids. The Selvos helped Dave get back on his feet. Today, Dave and thousands like him thank God for the Selvos. We thank God for you. Donate to the Red Shield Appeal. Call 13 Selvos now.